Welcome back. First off, gotta say sorry about the lack of video to get up to this point. But uh, just having some battery issues with my camera. Anyhow, with the issues I was having with my 3-jaw chuck, not giving me very good run out. And because I knew I was going to have to make this anyways, to mount my 4-jaw chuck, I just went straight ahead and started making this adapter plate. Uh, about all you missed was me making a mess and vacuuming and making more mess and vacuuming because this cast iron just it gets everywhere It's horrible What I started out with was this plate chucked into my three jaw chuck and I'd already uh, Cut out this intersection with just a whole saw Mounted it up onto my three jaw cut a register that would fit the spindle of the lathe and it is 95 millimeters whenever I was getting close to that size I would leave this plate mounted in my three jaw and unbolt my three jaw from the spindle flip it around test fit nope put it back together cut cut the register a little bit bigger take it off try it again it took two maybe three tries got it perfect where with this plate still holding or with the three jaws still holding this plate it would hold itself onto the spindle without any bolts that's how tight I got it so then after I did that I'm gonna show some pictures I was able to get a few pictures taken with my phone during the way <clears throat> but after that uh, I greased up the spindle took this plate and just pressed it up against there and then used that to find the centers of the holes I needed to drill for the three holes center punched, drilled, chamfered, and then uh, tapped the bolt holes. Now I've got the plate mounted to the spindle with uh, the three studs that came with the lathe and I am turning the outside diameter. I am going to, once I get down to close to six inches, then I will cut the register for the four jaw chuck and pretty much do what I did with the three jaw or with this to mount to the uh, three holes you know grease it set the uh, four jaw up here figure out where the four bolt holes are going to need to be and punch drill tap and go after it some more uh, <clears throat> I really don't want to bore you with this part because it's it's it takes forever to uh, cut this cast iron and I'm, I think I am spending more time cleaning than I am cutting. As you can see, I've got these pieces of cardboard that I've been trying to minimize the amount of area that this mess gets into, so it's, it's a tedious job. I'll, keep, I'll bring you back for some more after a while. Did I happen to mention what a mess <laughs> cast iron makes? Uh, these are my uh, cardboard deflectors I've been making to try to 
<laughs> keep the mess to a minimum holding it on there with some magnets and the best way I found out to keep it from making such a mess was to flip my boring bar over and and uh, cut backwards so you cut from the uh, spindle out instead of the normal way of in towards the spindle yep it's uh, dirty I need to do some cleaning I think I'm pretty close to final size on diameter right now so I just gotta cut in for the uh, registration on the four jaw it just happens to be right here so I have to cut it in so the lip will fit inside there which is 135 millimeters a lot more mess to make Well, let me take all my ear, eye, and mouth protection off. And as you can see, you got a nice fit. So there we go. Now I'll get some uh, grease and put it on the back side. Get some grease and put it on the back side of here. Set it up against there, make an impression. Center punch, drill. And then maybe put this baby on a diet. Get rid of some of this meat here in the middle that I don't need. All right, you can see I got some grease around all the holes. And I'll just lightly put it up there, press it, and pull it straight back. spots that we can mark and center punch and drill. Getting closer. Before I take this off to uh, drill those holes out, I think I'm going to go ahead and bore out this uh, inner diameter a little bit, get rid of some of the weight of this plate and uh, that way when I drill it to mount the fore jaw, I can clean all this mess up because it is horrible around here. I'll bring you back after uh, I pull it off and drill the holes.
Wow, that took a little while. Finally got out to the inside diameter that I wanted. I got to chamfer everything, take it off, drill it, mount up the four jaw, call it good. Did I mention how messy cast iron is? Man, it took me quite a while to clean this thing back up, make it look like it did when it was new. This is what I started out with, a one inch by seven inch piece of cast iron and turn it into a backing plate for my four jaw chuck. I think there was something I was going to do before I started this project, but now I can't remember. So I guess it's on to the next one. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, that's right.